Rich Richards. Rich is a loser. Despite working out every day. Oh, Nick Jackson, are you tired of having to chomp on aborted fetuses all day just to get your branch chain amino acids? What? I didn't sign up for this. Fuck you, buddy. This my advert. My new sports drink, Power Max G, has more goddamn proteins in one can than three aborted fetuses combined. Check this out. Thanks, Nick. Oh, wait. Disgraced local MP Chris Williams today admitted in court to being a regular user of Rent Boys. In a statement, he said, My marriage had broken down, I was suicidal and battling alcoholism. Life outside the arms of a muscular teenage Brazilian became a grim and meaningless place for me. Speaking of grim, meaningless places, that wacky regional reporter of ours, Pete Walker, is in Withering. I hope you've had your shots, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pauline. I'm here with two rent boys of my own, Seamus and Alexander, who have just opened Witherling's first ever video rental store. The house what of- What lens are you using there? Oh, uh, I don't know, it's just a regular lens. No, lens. don't talk to him, talk to me. <laughs> What's your favorite film genre? What's going on? Um, uh, there. Comedy? There. Uh, What's there. yours? What's going on? I like films where children go missing and later turn up dead. What? I like Wuxia. Wuxia? Wuxia. What's Wuxia? Fucking right word, that. Wuxia. Oh, it is good, that. Wuxia. I like Wuxia. Oh, what are you stupid people talking about? Wuxia. Fucking right word, that. Wuxia? What, that? It's a genre of Chinese fiction concerning the adventures of Wuxia. Ma oh, you mean Wuxia? Oh, your people stupid as well as ugly. Wuxia. Wuxia. You fucking late shit with that. What's Wuxia? Ah, oh, same as what you said, but not stupid, big, ugly, stupid face way. Sam, do you hear that? It's coming from Witherling Grade School. It sounds like real news. And so, Mr. Broomhill, after receiving several complaints from the parents of less athletically gifted children, you are not to refer to them as lame ass faggots. This is England, and I believe the correct term is poofter. And now our last order of business, uh, Mr. Jones. <laughs> Good God, Mr. Jones has gone mad. Big fat rhymes and some gangster beats. Let's take poetry from the classroom to the streets. So let's get the community to engage by performing their poems in the school hall. <laughs> 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 Hendrick, it's okay. He's just organising a poetry competition. P to the O to the E to the G. It's okay, Jonesy. We get it. Anyone could take part. Look, I've got flyers. It's going to be amazing. We get it, Dick. Hello. Hi, Big Nose. You're seeing TV. That stupid man on again. <sighs> Hello, Brigitte. Just a sec. And can ultimately lead to substance abuse, self-harm, and chronic depression. Stay safe, Witherling. Don't have kids. And? He's so stupid, I could do much better. I'd be best news presenter ever. I'd be like, da da da. Hello, I'm Brigitte, and welcome to Brigitte's best ever super news program. With me, Brigitte. Here's the news, yeah? Da 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 da. See? What do you actually want, Brigitte? Oh yeah, bring me 20 fags after work and get chips and peas. Uh, oh yeah, and say hi to that weird small man person what live with us. You mean George? Oh yeah, that's it. I remember. George. George, our son. Yeah, I knew that. Da, 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 da. Goodbye. George! 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 Yes, Vincent? Vincent, Mark, I saw that! That wasn't very nice! Say sorry to George right now! He started it! He broke Mark's bottle with his head! That does it! You and Mark have got detention! All week! Ah! But Mr. Broomhill needs us for the big game on Friday! Well, 
You'll just have to miss it then, won't you? You wouldn't dare give us detention. <laughs> but, uh... So you think you're a couple of big bad dudes, but the only thing's bad is your attitudes. You think your pranks are digital or just analog? <laughs> you just mess with the wrong pedagogue. Well, if you put it like that then, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, we'll stay. Um, excuse me, Mr. Yarmouth. How many times, Malk? If the kids steal your tools again, just give them a little punch. It's okay, we've all done it. Oh, it's not that. It's Broomill and Jones. Oh. Oh! Not that chuffin pole again! Jones! Get your pussy bitch ass! Ass down here right now! Dick! Broomhill, enough of this nonsense! Jones, come down this instant! A grown man hiding up a pole! For God's sake, that's no way to go through life, man! Although, you are surprisingly agile. Like a monkey. Malk, wh why do we even have this pole? What pole? Do we even have a flag? Nope. Well, let's get rid of it then. There's only room for one pole in this school, and that's you. I'm not Polish. You're not? No. But the moustache and the tools and that little dance you do. What dance? But what about my big game? This faggot gave Mark and Vincent detention. Now I'm 11 men short for my football team. I'll help you, Mr. Broomhill. <laughs> What's that? It's a football. Hey, I'm talking about football. The good kind, not your lame-ass limey games. See you around, dicks. Master, the planet is all yours. No one can resist the might of God, the penetrator. Not so fast, bozo. Give me love, of course. No. Cyber Marine Squad, advance six inches! No! Not Cyber Marine! Storm Blasters, fire! No! Miss, 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 hit! Cursor, I'm done for! Hammer of the Gods, the greatest war game on the planet! in recent years that dealing with our problems by finding solace at the bottom of- Oh, big nod! What about on your arm? Oh, not another one of these bloody things. I found about 900 of them flushed down gym toilets. Blocked all bloody system, they did. Oh, I don't want to hear your boring story. What is it? It's a poetry competition, Brigitte. Why don't you enter? Poetry? What's that? I don't have that where I'm come from. Sounds stupid. It's words that people use to convey emotions. Oh, it's just words, yeah? Or what, like? Uh, chips? Peas? More peas. Oh, it's easy, this. Um, table, wall, floor, door. Oh, that's not uh, exactly how it works. Bow tie, ketchup, plate, number plate, stupid beer. No. Uh, no. Big nose, uh, stupid face, uh, ugly eyes, big no. bald, stupid mustache, long neck, bald head, big no. nose, stupid, big bald, ugly man, face, Stop nose. It. Big... <laughs> Just leave Brigitte to it, George. She knows best. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be famous poet now. Poetry easy. Who would take this seriously? Only stupid man would. In the grim darkness of my soul, there is only... E-A! Woo! Gets the kids big! In the grim darkness of my soul, there is only... E-A! Woo! In the grim darkness of my soul... E in the grim darkness of my... E in the grim... E Keep the noise down, yeah? Some of us are trying to do 35 kilogram single arm bicep curls and write prize winning poems here. What you say, buddy? I said keep the noise down, yeah? Because some of us are trying to do 35 yeah, kilograms and knows what you said. Well, why'd you ask me then, dick? No, I'm not a dick. You're a dick. Dick. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Well, fuck you, dick. What you say? I said. Guys, guys, chill. Pound the machines, not each other. Uh, Nick, you gotta, um... Goddamn hell! Not again! Ladies and 
Ready? Post-apocalyptic quarry reenactments tomorrow. It's wargaming tonight. Yeah, I know. Are you worried people might think we're a bit weird, spending our evening playing war games with children? No, no. Weirdness is working a job you like to buy things you don't hate. No. Weirdness, it's working a job you don't afford to buy people you hate to get things that you need to like. Clive Woodhead doesn't do that, and he's a weird guy. That's not really my point, I I think. He doesn't think the moon is necessary. That's weird. You're weird because you spy on people. It's called voyeurism, and it's a medical condition. Frappuccan, Dan, Fat Paul and Tiny Tim reporting for battle. Time to wipe the floor with you losers. I don't know. Alexander did punch the last child that beat him at Hammer of the Gods. Aha! But tonight we have a secret weapon. The new limited edition Golden Elf Army. They're beautiful. D- d- did you just see that? Huh? Put the ruin playing toys with kids. That fucking bleed of the summer. More wine. W- w- wonder? Are you excited about your poetry competition tomorrow, Joseph? I think so, yes. Oh, but it's going to be a great success, I know it. Now, was anyone mean to you today? No. Come on, Joseph, you can tell me, you know. Well, Mr Broomhill did steal my sandwiches and he threw them at a dog. And the dog ran away with them and uh, I chased it, but then I fell down and I hurt my knee. That Mr Broomhill is so horrible to you. Oh, it makes me so angry. We're going to need a new picture there. Mr Broomhill wasn't always like this, you know. Look here. This is me and Silas together at school. This was taken just after Bezer had stolen our clothes. Again, see? There's me, Seamus and Alexander from the video shop, and that's Silas Broomhill! But he looks so... nerdy. What happened to make him change? It all started many years ago. It was the day before the big Hammer of the Gods inter-school wargaming tournament. Silas wanted us to win so badly. Joseph! What is the maximum range of a level 4 Cybermarine Captain's power wand? Uh, 12 inches? Wrong! In a tridimensional smuggling scenario, it could be anywhere between 12 and 13! (sighs) We have no chance tomorrow! Hey up! Look at Sergeant Bellend and the Bum Boy Brigade! Playing with your little dolls again, are you? Sorry, we don't speak retard! You need a reading age of at least 8 to play Hammer of the Gods! So come back in 5 years! Guys, I know I'm working you hard, I know I'm being a bit of a dick, but I really believe if we all work together, we can win this tournament! I'll see you here at 7am sharp. Let's do this! That was the last time the group were all together. None of us were prepared for what happened next. Do tell, please. Where's Broomhill? He's 16 minutes late. We're going to lose the tournament. Maybe he fell down a hole. Oh, there he is. Oi! Problem, faggot. Where's your stuff for the tournament? What? I'm a jock. You'll never catch me playing that nerd shit. But we've made you a t-shirt. Look, you're the captain leading us. That's the whole sad story. But that's terrible. What about when you mention it now? He thinks he transferred to the school that very day. All those years of friendship, gone. Oh, Joseph, how about to help take your mind off things? I'll do anything you want. Anything, eh?
Yeah! I mean, no! 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 I'm through with this shit! I came to tell you that I'm quitting! Go clean! Cool turkey! See you around, dicks! But don't you want to try the new golden elves? Golden elves? And you. Maybe just once more, for old time's sake. Ah, not so fast, bozo! Payment first! Here, take them. Let the game begin! Shit! It's okay, I locked it. Just be quiet and they'll go away. Hello? Damn it, it's Jones. He's persistent. Shh. Hello? Can't quite seem to get the door open. It appears to be stuck. There appears to be something stuck. And another thing, don't let me catch you three playing those lame-ass geek games again. You should be outside doing good, honest, manly sports like football. The good kind. Oh, hey, Jones. I suppose you come to join in with these nerds. See you around, dicks. Well, here we are, Brigitte. Yeah? What we here for? It's the poetry competition. Oh, yeah, I knew that. What poetry again? Look, there's the judge. He's a famous poet. Oh, oh what he famous for? Having small dick. You did write a poem, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Of course I wrote poem. I'm best poet ever. Well, backstage is down that way. Break a leg. What you say? Brigitte, metaphor, metaphor. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yes, I, you got this, bro. Oi, Captain Fat Arms, this place for poetry competition, yeah? It's the place. If you want to lose... Oh, I'm not going to lose, because I'm best poet ever. What you write poem about, anyway? Pain. Endurance. Being a winner. Oh, that sounds rubbish. What you ever won? Small dick competition? What you say? I ain't afraid to hit a woman. You deaf as well as got ah! small dick. I said... Hey, guys. Everyone ready? It's showtime. Oh, finally. Let's do... Adjectives, nouns, dictionary, definition I'm a lyrical assassin and they're my ammunition They call me Mr Jones, I'm the worst MC Yo yo, Withering Grange, are you ready for some poetry? No I wonder if that restraining order Broomhill took out against us is still in effect All I did was invite him round to play Hammer of the Gods Some people have got no sense of decency Did you film him showering again? Yeah Hey guys, Pete Walker, City News. Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. <laughs> click, clack, click, clack. Train rolls along the track. Thirteen sandwiches. Twelve passengers. The conductor's name was Eric. Woo, woo! Super cool poem there, Scott. Woo, woo! Give him a big hand, friends. <coughs> OK, our next competitor is our very own PE teacher, Mr Silas Broomhill. I'm a gym teacher, not a PE teacher. Ahem, OK. My poem is about a man who convinced himself he was something he was not, heard all those around him, and never realised who his true friends were. And then that dude met a guy called Silas Broomhill and learned not to be such a fucking pussy. He said, I can't do it. I said, yes, you can. Man up. Quit bitching. Start lifting. Follow my plan. Join the clan of winning, dick. He said, winning isn't important. I said, that's loser talk. Fuck you. Life don't give out goddamn participation awards. It awards winners with hot chicks and nachos. He said, hey, didn't you used to play Hammer of the Gods when you were at school? I said, no, I'm Silas Brubill. I don't like that shit. I've never played that shit in my life. I like sport. I'm a jock. I moved here from America when I was 13 years old. That's right. I'm American and I don't like Hammer of the Gods. Dicks. Uh, 
Okay, uh, our next competitor, Brigitte Crisp. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, so I uh, got a proper good poem thing for you now. Clouds are grey. Sky is grey. I am grey. Thank you very much. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, Mr. Jones, this is our winner! What? No way, man! No fucking way! I deserve to win! Good grief, man! Do you not know genius when you see it? Fuck you, buddy! Brumo punch! Fire! Mr. Broomill's gone mad! Call the police! Screw you, dicks! You think this is bad? Well, well... Mr. Jones is a paedophile! <laughs> An unexpected twist. Oh, what? Yeah, that's right. He's got pictures of naked kids in his wallet and everything. Is it true? Y y yes, but it's not not what he looks like. See? <gasps> Get him! Oh, no, you don't. Pino, this is a citizen to rest. I should have won that competition. Dick. Police, what's the problem? Bastards. Problems this sick fuck's twisted mind. Got ourselves a greedy prison bitch right here. Pedophile, eh? There's no dolly mixtures where you're going, Sonny. No, you need to understand. It's good work. Sure him up. Just doing my duty as a good citizen, detective. Come with me, scum. Been a long time since the lads down the station had a good old-fashioned non-spraying. Pete Walker, City News. Uh, Seamus and Alexander, House of Whipcord? Power Max J, drink it every day. Yeah, Power Max J, drink it every day. Yeah, Power Max J, drink it every day. Breaking news, I'm here at Withering Grange School where local English teacher Joseph Jones has just been revealed to be a pedophile. A heinous crime where mob justice is entirely justifiable. Pino? Not in my goddamn town! Eh, 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 eh. Woo! I don't know anything about Joseph Jones, but what I do know is that with this monster off the streets, your children will sleep safer tonight, Withling. Probably. Kill him! We should kill him! Get back! You bastards! No, you've got it all wrong. This man isn't a paedophile. Aw, oh, don't spoil our fun. Joseph Jones is not a paedophile, and we can prove it to you. All that picture shows is... E-E-A! Hey, up! A pedo hat! Fucking pedo gun too! Pido, Pido, Beza, Pido, Pido, Beza, stop it! Pido, Pido, Beza, Pido. We don't want any trace of that nonce left in Withering Grange. Burn the lot, Beza. You forgot the fish. Booked it now, Yarmouth. Yes, Governor Hendrick. Yarmouth, how long have you been head teacher here? Twenty years, Hendrick. And how many paedophiles have you caught in that time? That seems a bit irrelevant. Exactly! None! That's why I've decided to demote you and give this Broomhill chap a crack at being head teacher. He may be mentally deranged, and a deep-seated childhood trauma means he's a danger to all children in his care, but by Jove, he gets results! Oh, hello there. I'm a traditional English school teacher, and I'm about to teach these young chaps about the wonderful sport of cricket. And then, I'm going to molest them. Oh, no, you don't, pedo! I'm hero educator Silas Broomhill, and now I've got my own school, the Broomhill Sporting Academy, or as I like to call it, the Broomtopia. No pedos allowed, and no boring-ass sports like cricket. Am I right, kids? Come with me! We do all the sports here. Basketball, baseball, football, the good kind. <laughs> Go along, little buddy! 
He just needs to train harder. Let's go. Don't like boring ass lessons like this. Not in the Broomtopia. Trading your study time for gym time. Who wants to train, kids? I give you my personal guarantee that if you send your child to the Broomtopia, they will soon be able to outsingle on my curl you. Oh, not <laughs> get molested, of course. Punching children may be socially acceptable, but touching them is most definitely not, as local pedo school Withling Grange recently found out. They have just rebranded as the Broomhill Sporting Academy. A cynical ploy to distract from their kiddie fiddling heritage, or have they genuinely changed? I came to find out more. We've completely revamped the curriculum here at the Broomhill Sporting Academy. Gone are useless fag lessons like English and science. And instead, we've got a brand new range of classes designed to stimulate students' mind, body, and spirit. Well, not the mind and spirit part. That's for fags. Hello. We aren't allowed to read anymore because reading is for faggots. So now I have to lift these big pieces of metal to make my arms thicker. And if I do, I will be so deep in pussy that I will need a periscope to see where it's at. So yeah, I'm uh, Miss Platts. Uh, I used to be a maths teacher. And then that got truncated to math teacher. And then uh, Mr. Broomhill decided it was a fag lesson. So uh, now I just spend all day pretending to be busy and secretly getting drunk. Not a lot's changed, really. Hey up, my name's Malk. I'm the uh, caretake. Oh, <laughs> I'm the janitor. Got to be a bit careful about that. Um, there's a lot more sick to clean up now that beer chuggins replace geography. All in all, though, Mr. Broomill's still a massive cock. So apparently there are two types of football, and we have to play the one that doesn't involve feet, and the ball isn't really ball-shaped, and... And there are fashion accessories. It doesn't make sense. Mr. Broomhill's gone mad with power. We liked it much better when he'd play Hammer of the Gods with us and then cry afterwards. Hey, hey, Pete, you seen the cafeteria yet? They do a mean pizza burger. You gotta try it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Am I right, Yarmouth? Spiffing. What's that? I'm <sighs> fucking A, buddy. You want a beer, man? It's the proper stuff. None of that foreign English shit. But it's 9.30 in the morning, for God's sake. Hey, I'm on Western Seaboard time, bro. Yeah, pounding a brewski. Yarmouth, I'm, uh, out of chips here, yeah? <sighs> Guys, guys, what's the deal? We can't meet like this anymore. But it's our regular Wednesday lunchtime meeting. Uh-uh, no, I'm through with this. But you like playing Hammer of the Gods. You do. Shut up, faggot. I don't know the fuck you're talking about. I ain't no goddamn nerd. Get the hell out of my office. <laughs> oh. I've just come to tell you that I've finished installing that flag you wanted all the kids to pledge allegiance to in the dinner hall. Uh, yeah, good work, Malk. Oh, and I just heard that they released Mr. Jones because all them pedo charges were bollocks. Turned out there were pictures of you and him as kids in his wallet. Huh, anyway, have fun playing with your models. Yeah, we're sorry about that mix-up, Mr. Jones. A simple misunderstanding. The beatings. The cold water rose downs. The complete destruction of your public image via the taint of sexual abuse. The while ultimately turning out to be false will nevertheless prove impossible to ever completely shake off. <laughs> Could have happened to anyone. We're sorry you had to stay in overnight. <laughs> Protocol, you know. You're not any of my concern now. Phew, he seemed to take that okay. Well, the tin's well, eh? 
So I spoke to your school governor, Hendrik. He says you can start back whenever you like. No problem. And the newspaper called too. They're going to print a full apology. I'm sure Mr. Broomhill will see the error of his ways too. Broomhill. your knee. No, not the knee. I can't play football, the good kind, with a bad knee. Wrong answer. You had the chance to create something good around here, but all you created was a dictopia. But I'm your teacher now. I'll get you your job back. I'll get you a promotion. I'll do anything. Anything, eh?